Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Topping our news today at noon, Sarasota County fire crews and neighbor, neighboring fire departments spent the morning trying to control a massive warehouse fire. The blaze started just before 5 o'clock this morning inside a warehouse on South Packing House Road in Sarasota, just west of Interstate 75. ABC 7's Rebecca Vargas joins us live from the scene with more on what's happening now. Rebecca? Yeah, Scott, just seven hours later than the, when this blaze began, just now the state fire marshal is starting to scale back the resources. As we can see behind me, though, those warehouses are a complete and total loss. You can see some rubble along the road there. Now, this massive blaze all began around 4.52 this morning. That's when the fire department got a call from a man inside the warehouse. Him and his friend were recording music in a studio that's inside there. When firefighters responded, the flames could be seen coming from multiple structures. While the fire is now completely contained, it took 80 plus firefighters and multiple agencies with that within the county working together to control this six alarm fire. Even SCAT was busing in firefighters on different shifts. We're told that it was a 12 engine response initially and even Longboat Key Fire Department came in to help early this morning. No one was injured or has been reported injured at this time. The three people inside a portion of that warehouse are now out safe. They tell us they heard an explosion. Let's hear what they had to say. We stopped and he heard something, thought it was a knock at the door. Okay. Opened the door and we seen I'm talking about Jake. flickering light. He stepped outside and seen that the building was on fire and we started hauling equipment out. I looked down about five units and it's just an inferno. And Ronnie just goes, grab equipment, grab equipment, grab equipment. And we just grabbed a bunch of stuff. It was so hot by my truck. I mean, it was scorching, so I just flew out as fast as I could with the last stuff. Ronnie kept going in almost, I mean, he risked his life. The fire was involved of one of the entire warehouses that ran about 200 feet long uh, towards the interstate from the roadway. The entire roof was on fire at the time we arrived. Now, JR's old packing house, the restaurant is still standing behind me. It's only suffered minor fire and smoke damage to the back, but some of those businesses in those warehouses, including that music recording industry business there, as well as an inflatables company, a lot of people, a lot of businesses just stored some of their equipment in these warehouses. It's a complete loss. They've lost everything, which is tens of thousands worth in equipment that they've lost. So far, that's all we know, but we will continue to update you. The state fire marshal is continuing to assess the situation. The small burns have been contained, but as they move the wreckage, they're keeping their eye on that for now. So, Scott, as we report out here in Sarasota, back to you in the studio. Rebecca, real quick, there's some uh, road closures I know you wanted to mention, right? Yes, right now we're standing on South Packing House Road at Palm. That's completely closed right now from Palmer all the way down to Bay of Vista. You can't go through. And we've heard of a lot of slowdowns on Cattleman Road due to these road closures. So be aware that those are still active at this point. All right, Rebecca Vargas reporting live for us today. Thank you so much, Rebecca. In other news, the autopsy results are in for a little boy killed by a gator this week at a Disney resort. Investigators say two-year-old Lane Graves died of drowning and traumatic injury. He was killed at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort on Tuesday night. The boy was playing in ankle-deep water at a lagoon there when he was pulled into the water by the alligator. Disney has closed all of its beaches and made a decision to add alligator warning signs as a result. Five gators have been caught and euthanized so far. Officials say they will keep searching until they can confirm the gator that killed the toddler has been caught. A photo taken of another child is sending chills across the internet. It shows the boy standing in the same spot where Lane was attacked less than an hour before that incident. There's a good chance we already have the alligator. We're in Florida. Every body of water needs to be assumed that there's an alligator in there, and all alligators are dangerous. The Graves family is releasing a statement for the first time saying, quote, words cannot describe the shock and grief our family is experiencing over the loss of our son. We are devastated. To all the local authorities and staff who worked tirelessly these past 24 hours, we express our deepest gratitude. In other news here on the Suncoast, a man is suing the city of Punta Gorda after his attorney claims he was nearly killed by a police dog. Dash cam video of the incident was released this week. Back on October 30th, Officer Lee Cole was trailing 25-year-old Richard Schumacher, who was riding his bike. He eventually stopped in a driveway of a home. 
Moments later, the officer unleashes his canine on him. The officer wrestles with Schumacher while the dog bites him. Schumacher was taken to the hospital, bloodied and handcuffed, and stayed for 11 days there. According to a police report, he received a warning citation for riding his bike without lights. But his attorney says there was no just reason to use the canine. Radio personality Buffalo the Love Sponge discussed the video on his show this week, and since then, dozens have been calling in for Punta officers' resignation. This and is our, something no mother should have to face, but how proud. An Army private killed during a recent training exercise will be laid to rest today in Manatee County. Private Zachary Fuller was given a processional escort from Tampa International Airport to Palmetto yesterday. He and eight others were killed during a training exercise in floodwaters at Fort Hood in Texas. Hundreds of people lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the processional and the hearse carrying Fuller, including some of his co-workers. One woman says Fuller's death hits close to home since her 19-year-old son is getting ready for his first deployment with the U.S. Army. This is something no mother should have to face, but how proud she must be that her son made the ultimate sacrifice for his company and for our country. A visitation for Fuller happens later today from 5 to 8 p.m. Fuller's funeral service is tomorrow at Bible Baptist Church in Palmetto, beginning at 1 p.m. And a Suncoast resident famous for her fictional writing has passed away. Author Lois Duncan died at her home near Sarasota on Wednesday. She's best known for her young adult suspense novels and children's books like I Know What You Did Last Summer and Hotel for Dogs. Overall, she published more than 50 titles during her career. Duncan grew up in Sarasota and started her writing career here. She was 82 years old. Huh. I did not know she lived here. I know. Some big titles there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Those. Turned Movie into does. movies. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Impressive. <laughs> and some of the showers were around today. We're pretty big. Got some more on the way, it I've looks like. Them. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, we have an outflow boundary kind of sinking southward, and we have a line of showers over us. Whence the two meet? Kaboom, I think. Uh oh. I think so. Get some uh, more rainfall around here this afternoon, it looks like, and tomorrow, maybe even more. Hmm. We got a nice little plume of tropical moisture over us now, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, this morning, Lakewood Ranch webcam showed a pretty nice start to the day. Nice sunrise. Morning commute got off without a hitch, although it would have been nice to have some of that rain fall around with the morning fire that we were reported on just now. But uh, it held off until uh, around 9, 10 o'clock, and then the showers started to move in. Currently, we've got some pretty big thunder boomers around the area with some uh, pretty good downpours of rain. And that will continue, I think, uh, through the afternoon, most of it, though, will start to move a little bit further inland. But watch that line of showers to the north. You see that kind of curved arc of showers? That, combined with the line of showers directly over us now, spells more rain in the forecast. I'll go with a good chance of rain, about 50% coverage, I think, today. We'll do it, and that, that's pretty reasonable. As we head into tomorrow, might even get more rain around. Some of the storms could be kind of strong, too. We'll talk all about the forecast in a few minutes, Scott. All right, John, thank you. Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies say a popular scam is turning up once again here on the Sun Coast. It's the so-called IRS scam. Car artists pretend to be with the IRS and try to trick victims into revealing private information. Some also demand payments via different types of prepaid credit cards. A legitimate investigation or lawsuit by the IRS will be handled, handled in person or through certified mail and never on the phone. There's a website where you can report an IRS scam. We put a link to that on our website, mysuncoast.com. Just go to links we mentioned. Manatee County is preparing for the future. County commissioners met to go over nearly $100 million worth of projects they hope to accomplish within the next five years. Some of them include restoring and expanding the Robinson Preserve, upgrading several boat ramps, and continuing work on 44th Avenue East. It's all part of the capital improvements plan, which begins in October. Funding for the projects will come from property, gas, and resort taxes, impact fees, as well as grants. A new online poll shows Sarasota is a great place to find a job. The financial website WalletHub ranking Sarasota as the number one city in Florida for job seekers. The ranking compared 130 cities based on 16 different categories, including job opportunities, growth, starting salaries, benefits, and unemployment rates. Sarasota took the top spot, earning high marks for job opportunities and the job market here. Also on the list, Bradenton, which came in 21st place, Venice at number 70, and Northport at 106. 
Jacksonville Beach and Pensacola rounded out the top three best cities for jobs. ABC 7 business commentator Jeff Stern joins us now with a look at the day on Wall Street so far. And we were glad to see green numbers yesterday, Jeff. What's been causing the market to be so negative most of the week? Scott, finally, five down days in a row, and it looked like it was going to be another sixth, uh, down 150 or so. And now it came back yesterday to over 90 for a close. So we're definitely happy about that. A lot of fear out there. Big talks of Britain leaving the euro. 21% positive for gold this year, so that's not good for the markets typically, while the 10-year treasuries got down to 1.52, 10 years that is. We'll see. So far, the Dow and the S&P are down about 0.75 for the week, while NASDAQ's down about a point. This morning, the futures were down, so let's see how we're currently trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is at 17,630, down over 100 points, just over half a percent in the negative, while NASDAQ, 4,800, down 44 points, almost that 1 percent, while the S&P, 2,065, down 12 points, just over half of 1 percent. Jeff, I understand Google hired someone who has never applied for the job there. Well, this sounds interesting. It's a great story, Scott, especially with all the negative news these days. Her brother actually applied for her, so when she got a phone call from Google, she was shocked. Miss Lackey is now 33 years old and blind. She's shocked when Google did call her. She tested accessibility products in college and was very passionate about it, so they hired her in 2006 as a software test engineer. She was really as far as the screen readers for visual impairments and other disabilities. Now she leads Google's central accessibility team and test engineers and trains employees as well. She was not born blind, although in, 19, in 2004, while attending San Jose University, they found a tumor and the doctors accidentally cut it so she became blind. She has used her discipline to get strength. She's got a loving husband as well as a child and her dream job with Google. So a lot of positive out there, Scott, and Google is a great company to work for. Nice way to end the, the, end the week, I guess, with those numbers down today on Wall Street. We'll try to finish yeah. out the day positive. Okay, Jeff, thanks so much. Have a great weekend. You too. Time now to check in with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. She's joining us live this afternoon from Yahtzee Grill in Bradenton. Judy. Scott, I have to tell you, I feel like I'm on a cruise right here at the Bradenton River Park. And you can see over my shoulder, the water's right there. You can take a great walk, walk around the river area, and then come in and have a great lunch, happy hour, dinner, Bar Bites, by the way, voted best burger. And I'm going to tell you why when you get to meet the owner and the chef. Wonderful cocktails, a variety of wines on the wine list. They have so much space indoors and outdoors. We're going to go in in a few minutes so you can meet the owner. But you're going to love this. Former office space, the owner actually created this, the railings and all, to make you feel like you're on a cruise ship. Before we came on air, we tried their New England clam chowder. I admit it's as good as mine. So stay with us throughout the hour from Yahtzee Grill in Bradenton. What does it mean when New South Window says factory direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct prices. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. Ford, Florida home. By Florida workers, because we know Florida weather. Bring your measurements this Saturday from 9 to 4 to get huge discounts. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now. Discover the biggest savings of the year on some of America's favorite vehicles during the Drive and Discover event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Get America's best value, a new Grand Caravan for just $18,999 or a new Dodge Journey for just $16,999. Stop by today to shop the area's biggest selection of Ram trucks and save up to $8,000 on your new Ram. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Did you know? You can make an instant harness by simply wrapping the leash around your dog's chest and up through their collar? Contact Canine Corral today about a no-pull harness that will make you smile. Canine Corral, where the love is. This is a special health alert for seniors suffering with joint pain. 
If you have Medicare insurance, you may qualify for high quality support braces at little or no cost. I'm thrilled with my knee braces. Now, there is a simple and proven solution for seniors to get out of pain with state-of-the-art support braces. I barely feel any pain at all. Braces for your knees and back, as well as your shoulders and ankles, too. I'm so happy with the quality of these braces. Call now, and you could qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I can play ball again, and it doesn't hurt. And because of my Medicare coverage, it costs me next to nothing. So call now. And because I have this red, white, and blue Medicare card, my braces have cost me just about nothing. It's true. You may get a knee, back, shoulder, and ankle brace at little or no cost. They qualified me for two knee braces and a back brace. If you have knee or back pain, give them a call. They can help. 1-800-476-8967. 1-800-476-8967. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. At 6.30, ABC brings you news from around the world, and now ABC 7 brings you more in-depth coverage of the stories making news on the Suncoast. Join your Suncoast News team for the all-new ABC 7 News 7. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC 7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Well, deep moisture across the region, that's for sure. Dew point value, 76 degrees. Started off the morning about 76, 75. And it just really doesn't get too much higher than that here in Florida. So this deep plume of tropical moisture has risen northward at mid and upper levels. And at the surface, this west wind's just bringing in the moisture at the surfaces too. So we got a deep layer of moisture through the atmosphere. 89 degrees, the air temperature with a little bit of sunshine. We'll probably crack the 90 mark once again today. I'll go with 91. Winds are going to be breezy out of that west, about 17 to 20, 15 to 20. And because of that, we have a rip current issue along all our area beaches. So just be aware of that. If you're going to get your toes in the water, watch those lifeguard flags. Uh, across the region, we have 80 degrees in Arcadia, 88 in Wachula, 87 in Mayaca City. Why is it cooler in Arcadia? It's been raining. We have 85 degrees in Venice, 82 degrees in Northport, 88 Lakewood Ranch, Parish, Bradenton, 85 Longbow Key. So there's uh, kind of two systems at play over the state of Florida, but there's also a low pressure area spitting some rain showers across parts of the Del Marva today. There's some rough weather there yesterday, but things have quieted down just a little bit. The trough of low pressure runs through the deep south and a little packet of energy is racing through North Florida right now. To the south of us, we had kind of a line of showers that still exists, but look at this feature, this outflow from storms that blew up north of us, now creating the, these kind of winds that are forming this arc around the uh, parent cell so, so that the winds pushed out of that thunderstorm cell are sinking southward. And I think that when they kind of reach our area and team up with this convergent area that's over us now and been producing rain showers, we'll probably see some more thunderstorm activity. We'll probably start off a little further to the north too in parts of Bradenton. We'll see some pretty good thunderstorm activity there. So a wet afternoon in store for us, it looks like with the majority of action eventually developing into inland areas a little bit later in the day. You can see that plume of moisture that is lifted northward and continues to lift northward, actually. This is not a big tropical system that we need to be aware of, but there is a little area of low pressure that the Hurricane Center is monitoring. It's a very little chance of any kind of development. It's over land. I really don't see much that could happen with this. We'll keep an eye on it, though. It's going to continue drifting to the west-northwest. But the moisture from the Caribbean did lift north. You can see that very clearly in the water vapor imagery is that kind of moisture that just kind of lifted right across the state. Now, to the north of that, this brown contour, that's drier air. And it's sitting right behind a frontal boundary that is sinking southward. Now, the hope is that by Saturday, these two are going to team up. The moisture lifting up from the south, the frontal boundary, we're going to get a good round of showers once again tomorrow. But then by tomorrow night into Sunday, the front actually makes it through here, which is kind of unusual for this time of year. Wind shift around, drier air filters in, and Father's Day looks like it'll probably be a day of clearing and transition. Kind of nice day, I think. And then we get to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which are going to be very nice indeed. 
Boating west wind at 15, but obviously a lot of thunderstorms out there. Not a good day for boating. For today, we'll go with about a 50% chance of rainfall. Tomorrow, about a 70% chance of rainfall. Then we'll trim those rain chances way back down and bring in some drier air. Scott? All right, John, thank you. In health news, exercise can improve your memory. We know that, right? Researchers in Scotland and the Netherlands, though, put 72 subjects through a learning task. One group worked out right before or right after the learning exercise. Another did it four hours later. And then the last group didn't exercise at all. The group who did the best worked out four hours after the session. Researchers think it may have something to do with how exercise releases more of the chemicals in our body that help us remember. But more study is needed to confirm those results. When a new baby arrives home, much attention is focused on the health and well-being of the baby and the mom. But like new moms, new dads are also susceptible to anxiety and some depression. Financial stresses and responsibilities can also cause anxiety for new parents. Many dads stress about having to work full time and help care for a newborn since they don't often get paid paternity leave or can't afford to take extended periods of unpaid leave. Stress on new dads can also lead to a lack of sleep and fatigue. There's been a lot of focus in the past on the mom's health and her mental health and the baby blues, but it occurs in men too. So sometimes it's good to be aware of that and just to be able to recognize how you're feeling and how you're doing. And if things are not going very well, there's some things that you can do to help. Some recommendations doctors have for new dads include getting sleep when you can, and even though it's difficult, try to get in some exercise, which can reduce stress levels. Also, it's important for both new parents to try to take some time to spend with each other. Get a babysitter and give yourselves a chance to breathe a little. Still to come in your Suncoast News, a warehouse building in Sarasota completely destroyed following an early morning fire. We have a crew at the scene and we'll have a live report with the latest. Plus, officials are hoping a new discovery will shed more light on what happened to that Egyptian airliner that crashed in the Mediterranean. The story coming up. ABC 7's Pump Patrol, a list of the Suncoast's cheapest gas on mysuncoast.com. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, it's all about getting more for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. Stop by to see our new state-of-the-art showroom today, and you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $2.29 a month, complimentary maintenance included, at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Pomero Shop Furniture. After 66 years in Sarasota, we're still the leader in hard-to-find and custom-made furniture. We have literally thousands of fabrics and patterns to choose from, and our free in-home design consultation will help you create rooms in your home specific to your unique style. Our inventory changes daily, so come in today to see what's new. Plus, anything in our showroom can be part of your home the very next day. Pomero Shop Furniture, now with three locations. Just because someone grows older, does that mean they have to grow apart from their friends or from the things they love to do? With Right at Home, it doesn't. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to help with personal care, housekeeping, meals, and most of all, staying engaged in life. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you ready to go? Oh, I sure am. We can provide the right care right at home. I'm Dale Mast, and we're celebrating 40 years on the west coast of Florida. It's our 40th anniversary, and it's time for a celebration, the Culligan Hydration Celebration. For a limited time, celebrate by taking $250 off any Culligan home system. That's $250 off Culligan water softener systems, drinking water systems, or whole house water filters. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary, and remember, for better water, pure and simple, call today and say, hey Culligan man. Florida Studio Theater presents the fabulous Lipitones, now held over by popular demand. A high note leaves the barbershop quartet without their fourth member just before the national competition. What ensues is a comedy of misunderstanding, stereotypes, and the path to perfect harmony that critics say has laughs galore and gets right to the heart. Buy tickets now by calling 941-366-9000 or visit floridastudiotheater.org. 
We have another four-legged friend joining us this afternoon who needs a home. John is joined again by founder of Dante's Den and host of Animal Outtakes, Marsha Panucci, with our pet of the week. Hey, guys. Needs a home in a Valium. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweet dog. Oh, Hi, he, honey. He Hi, just baby. can't get enough of yes. you. Baby. He just loves oh, you. Honey. And he loves yes. Scott, too. Yes. All righty. Okay, down. Oh, this is Moby. And oh. uh, Moby is four and a half. Four and a half months or years? A four and a half years. Really? <laughs> You've got a lot of energy for a four and a half year old dog. And, and what he does is he is an outdoorsman. He loves to be outdoors. And you must have a pool if you're going to adopt Moby. He is an Olympic swimmer. John, he can swim for over two hours I have no doubt. without a break. I have no <laughs> doubt. This dog has got some muscles. <laughs> yes, he does. He's a sweetheart, though. Yeah. He's really affectionate. He's just he licking everybody and loving on everybody. He just jumped into the yeah. anchor seat with Scott, and uh, he jumped right here with you. So this is a dog that likes exercise. He loves exercise. He loves to be outdoors. He loves to ride in cars. As you can see, he's very, very, very friendly. What's his Healthy. history? Well, his history is is that he was abandoned, Aww. and uh, you know, unfortunately, people just kind of leave dogs. Yeah, these it happens days. from time to time. Yes. Well, the thing is with dogs is even if they do seem a little rambunctious or whatever, with a little bit of training, that just helps them bond so much oh, with absolutely. you. And absolutely. And they just want to please, so yeah. they behave themselves absolutely. so nicely. Don't you, sweetie? Yeah. Yes, he's you just. Do. He's, you want a kiss? Yeah, oh, he okay. wants to give you yeah, a big right. kiss. You yeah. Give me a kiss. That's a good you dog. couldn't find a more That's loving a dog, dog, but I will tell you yes. that he's full of energy. Yeah. And so he needs somebody that can keep up with him. But he yeah. is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. He's very healthy. You notice he's a lab mix. He's got the four little white booties uh, for his paws. And he's he's just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and he's, he's a sweetheart. He just loves everybody. You know, this dog would love a jogger, don't oh, you think? Oh, yes, my God. yes. And they I think would. he would give the new owner a great run for his oh, money. Oh, <laughs> I think so. I think so. Well, Marsha, how does uh, one adopt this baby? Moby is here at uh, Dante's Den, so you just call us up and you fill out an application. We make a house visit, oh, okay. and then we decide yeah, if yeah, Moby okay. is just the choice for you. And you can call us at 941-219-3730, and we'll be happy to take care of you. And what Moby will be man. waiting for that call. What a big <laughs> lover. Yes, you are. What a sweet dog. Scott? Oh, I can't see him, but he's down there. <laughs> <laughs> he calmed down now. <laughs> I know. Back to you, Scott. All right. There thank he you is. so much. Yeah. There's Moby. Yeah. Well, let's get back now to uh, Judy Gallagher. She's enjoying lunch today at the Yacht Sea Grill in Brayton. She joins us live with more. Hi, Judy. Hi there, Scott. I'm here with Steve Petty, who's the owner of the Yacht Sea Grill. And Steve, I want to ask you, how long has this been here? And tell us a little bit how you came to being a restaurant owner in Bradenton. Okay. Well, uh, the restaurant's been open just over four years. And uh, my son and I started working on it about nine months prior to that. And he came down from Kansas City. Uh, and we started creating the concept uh, like a cruise ship. So the outside dining area is like the back end of a cruise ship. And as you go inside, it's like the inside dining room of the cruise ship, down to the point where the kitchen is like built like a galley with a stainless steel f facility. Even though it's very small, it produces a lot of good food. Super efficient. So have you cruised a lot in your life? We, uh, since my wife and I retired in 99, she and I go on a lot of cruises. And there so you go. Good for you. Yeah. Now, you've also brought this beautiful food, and I know we're going to talk to the chef in a few minutes, but you tell me a special story about chef who's originally from Chicago. Let's share about that. He uh, trained at the Manatee Culinary School and uh, graduated from there a little over a year ago and he competed uh, in national or competed uh, statewide in the state of Florida and won first place in the competition and about six weeks later he went and competed nationally and won first place nationally so we're very proud of him you should be and I'm really looking forward to meeting him now along with an extensive wine list and cocktails you have happy hour and some new things going on yes we created a new uh, bar uh, menu just the uh, last week and it's very inexpensive uh, appetizers for the bar area and then for the month of June we decided to have happy hour all day long 
uh, for our local uh, residents uh, in kind of appreciation for the, for the uh, putting up with the, the crowds during tourist season. That's impressive. Which, which we really appreciate the tourists, but we really appreciate the locals also. And that's so much of what it's about. So locals can come out here, maybe take a walk, enjoy the boats, the train just went by, and then come in and have some really great food. Right. And we're pet friendly. So we have an area where people go for a walk here on the river walk with their pets, and then they come in and sit and have a cold drink or a, or a snack or a light lunch. Norman and RJ, did you hear that? You're coming out with Mama. We'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll get to meet the chef right here at Yahtzee Grill in Bradenton. Mom needed more care than we could provide, so we called Granny Nannies. She now has around-the-clock caregivers and we have peace of mind. Thanks to them, she's where she belongs, at home. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. We're celebrating Father's Day in a special way. I'm Stephanie Roberts. On Suncoast View, we talked to two dads who are anxiously awaiting the arrival of their first child. Iconic comedian Louis Anderson joins us. We'll talk about his nearly 40-year career and play a game of Parent Pictionary. Plus, help for curly hair from Cutting Loose Salon and a famous local dad restaurant owner. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. At SWC Properties, we pride ourselves on providing to you the very best in customer satisfaction. To list your home with SWC, give us a call and don't forget to watch the House to Home Show every Saturday night here on ABC7. It's simple. We just market your home better. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. At Granny Nannies, we provide your loved ones with the care they deserve, compassionate and experienced help right where you need it most, at home. Visit us at grannynannies.com. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Sun Coast News, we're here for you. Welcome back. We're continuing to follow the aftermath of a massive warehouse fire in Sarasota. We're told the warehouse is a complete loss. ABC 7's Rebecca Vargas joins us live from the scene off of South Packing House Road in Sarasota with the latest. Rebecca? Yeah, Scott, we're out here. It appears that the rain has just, the skies really have just opened up. Could help with this fire behind me. Take a look. The state fire marshal is still here investigating. And as you can see, there's still some smoke billowing from the remains here. Now, this fire, the six alarm fire, all began at 4.52 this morning when the fire department got a call from a man inside the warehouse. Him and his friend were recording music when they heard an explosion. They walked out, saw the flames, and called the fire department. Twelve engines showed up here to 
fix this situation, to put out the flames. It has been an all day process. Seven and a half hours later, still continues right now, but everything is a complete loss. JR's old packing house cafe, though, only suffered about a little bit of minor damage from the smoke and fire. We hear from him, who is just lucky to have his business safe. Let's hear from him. The 911 people from over there, they come for lunch at the restaurant, so they might, they want to make sure they can have lunch. <laughs> yeah, you were spared. For really? I mean, I, I think this, yeah, for real. Yeah, look, it's still there. I mean, everything else is gone, so it's pretty amazing that they, that what an amazing job the guys do. He is putting on a brave face. As you can tell, his spirits are up right now. But I don't know if you can see from here, but there is some damage to the back part of the roof there. They're still assessing it, but he's lucky to still have his business. He does plan to be closed for the rest of the weekend. For now, reporting here, right in front of um, South Packing House Road and the devastation. It's ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Scott, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much. We'll have more on this fire and those who were affected by it coming up tonight in our evening newscast. Out west, firefighters are battling a massive wildfire in California. This fire has been burning near Santa Barbara for two nights and has grown to 4,000 acres with little containment, only about 5% at this point. Nearly 400 families and visitors have been forced to evacuate. This is the first fire in that area in more than 60 years. I got up this morning and it was calm. At 12 o'clock, I had the National Guard and the state police at my house. Rare and dangerous heat is threatening some western parts of the country. According to the National Weather Service, temperatures are expected to reach 118 degrees in Phoenix Sunday and 119 degrees on Monday. Can't even fathom what that must feel like. Yeah, it is really rough. And there's a significant segment of the population, especially the low-income population out there in that section of the country, that has no air conditioning. So it's, it's rough, yeah. rough going there. Um, we have across our region our own issues to deal with here. Nothing like that, obviously, but we have some pretty good thunderstorm activity yeah. this afternoon. Lots of lightning strikes around, so do be careful of that. We want to remember our lightning safety tips. If you can hear the thunder, you know you're in danger of being struck. So stay inside until everything is safe. No, no. Golfing. Again, the majority of people who die from lightning, by the way, do it with outdoor sports. Golf, fishing, boating, that sort of thing. So take it easy out there. We have uh, Lakewood Ranch Web Camp put into motion. Shows the sun rising, but the showers moving <laughs> in. And boy, were they heavy at times. In fact, they still are. We have good potential for more heavy thunderstorm activity later this afternoon as we have a line of showers sinking southward and a line of showers over top of us. When the two meet, I think we'll see some more activity across the region building. Our rain chance this afternoon at a good solid 50% as we hit a daytime high about 91 degrees. Complete forecast details coming up in a few. Scott? All right, John, thank you. In Orlando, a grieving community is laying to rest more than uh, more of the 49 victims and the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. At the same time, investigators are find, trying to find out more about their killer and his wife. Grieving families saying final goodbyes. Some of the 49 victims killed in the Orlando nightclub massacre laid to rest today as we hear from first responders. So glad you're alive, man. There are stories of heroism, of rushing into the horrific scene Sunday morning and saving lives. It was a chaotic scene at best. In the midst of the terror, we're told the killer, Omar Mateen, texted his wife, Noor, although it's not clear what was in those messages or whether she knew about his murderous rampage. She and Mateen's father now on the no-fly list as the FBI investigates. The FBI, meanwhile, yet to comment on the alarming claims from the owner of this Florida gun store that Mateen stopped in five to six weeks ago wanting to buy bulk ammunition and body armor. The employees immediately suspicious say they refused to sell to him and called the FBI. Our intuition was correct, and it's just, it's very sad that we had him that close. We, it was that close that we law enforcement could have got their hands on. The human rights campaign called the largest national LGBT rights organization is calling for several measures to curb gun violence, including endorsing steps to limit access to assault style rifles, expanding background checks and limiting access to firearms for suspected terrorists and people with a history of domestic abuse. And as loved ones mourn the victims of Orlando massacre, the nation marks the anniversary of another mass murder. It was a year ago today that Dylan Roof shot and killed nine people at the historic Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina. After his arrest the next day, Roof confessed to the killings. He told investigators he wanted to start a race war. 
is scheduled to stand trial beginning in November. Another big find today in the search for clues into what caused an airliner to crash earlier this month. The flight data recorder of the Egyptian airplane was recovered from the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. The plane crashed last month, killing all 66 people on board. Yesterday, crews retrieved the plane's cockpit voice recorder. The wreckage of the Airbus A320 was found about two days ago. Investigators hope this latest find will help them determine the cause of the crash and whether the plane broke apart in the air or it stayed intact until it struck the water. President Obama closing a difficult week. He'll be heading out west today to celebrate the America's national parks as the system nears its 100th birthday. The president intends to highlight the threats to the system over the past century, such as climate change and underfunding by Congress. From there, he'll be taking his family on a Father's Day weekend getaway to Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico and Yosemite National Park in California. Time to get back to see how lunch is coming along with ABC 7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher, who joins us live today from Yahtzee Grill in Bradenton. Some delicious food I see there, Judy. Scott, you're going to love it, trust me. And you're going to get to meet Christian Bell right now, the executive chef. Christian, congratulations on all your awards. And tell me what you prepared for us today, because it's amazing. Awesome. Well, I, we prepared uh, several things for you today. And our big thing is we wanted to do something different than everybody else is doing along the coast. So we're going to start off here with our chipino that we make uh, with shrimp and scallops, lump crab meat, and we make our own house uh, Garlic bread and Garlic rice. Bread and cilantro lime. You We're going to ta take a step forward to our rib teasers. Uh, these are smoked for three hours with a little bit of uh, parsley on them. We're going to move on over now to our in house made salmon croquettes. I love salmon croquettes. Lightly smoked in our own smoker with uh, a fresh mango salsa and a remoulade sauce to go with it. Boom. Moving on over, we started a gluten free menu. So we have a rice ball, which is called a rice arancini, a little bit of cilantro lime rice. Uh, Manicino cheese and some jalapenos. Ooh. And then we go on over to another big seller is our plank uh, cedar salmon. It's a cedar salmon uh, grilled, however you like it. And then we also do a maple ginger glaze on top of it, slow cooked, mouth watering. We'll move on over to one of our best sellers, which is our full boat burger. It's got cheese, onions, bacon, smothered in a uh, seasoning and you can get any And you want awards for these burgers, Absolutely, right? yes. We I love have, a great burger. Absolutely. And now we're going to move over to one of our newest items, which is our shrimp scampi. It is a wine for blanc sauce that we make, lemon, butter, capers, and some nice fresh basil microgreens, also served with some toasted bread. And last but our needs, our signature Reuben that we smoke for three hours in-house, nice, low, slow, crispy with uh, some sauerkraut, mm. a thousand island, and toasted rye bread with some Swiss cheese, and our actually our apple coleslaw that we make in-house as well. My lunch is going to be so good today, Scott, trust me. But don't go anywhere. I'm coming back in just a minute with dessert from Yahtzee Grill in Bradenton. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. The ability to go to college on a Bright Future scholarship gave me personally the flexibility to chase a dream. To not have to worry about paying for your college education was absolutely amazing. One step better than that was to leave with no loans. I mean, to start a life, to start a job, to, to start without having a debt was uh, was amazing and it allowed me to get to where I'm at today. I'm Dale Mast and we're celebrating 40 years on the west coast of Florida. It's our 40th anniversary and it's time for a celebration, the Culligan Hydration Celebration. For a limited time, celebrate by taking $250 off any Culligan home system. That's $250 off Culligan water softener systems, drinking water systems, or whole house water filters. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary and remember, for better water. Pure and simple. Call today and say, Hey, Culligan Man. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford because Sarasota Ford guarantees you our lowest price on every new Ford every day. Save on America's best-selling truck, 39 years running, the Ford F-150. Fusions, Escapes, over 800 vehicles on-site or online, all on sale. Buy with 0% for 60 months. And now, get up to 2,000 trade assistance. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. 
Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Air temperatures are warm, dew points are high. West wind is brisk at 17. With that west wind on shore, you have an issue with rip currents today and for probably the next day or two. We have 89 degrees the air temperature down one degree because of the rain showers that have been in progress. Inland temperatures about the same as coastal temperatures and where it's been raining, it's certainly cooler. We have across the region right now, big thunderstorms to the north have sunk south. The outflow boundary around those storms, and it's very clear here on radar, will encounter a kind of a convergent area that's been right over us that established itself early on and has really not moved a whole lot. The two of those kind of combining together, I think, will bring some heavier thunderstorms to Manatee County, and it's already starting in inland areas. You'll see more along the coast over the course of the next hour or so. It may eventually tend to push that line a little bit further to the south, which is good because a training situation could have easily set up here, but I think that probably will not be the case as the showers are pushed further to the south. Lightning storms over Longbow Key moving closer to town. We have heavy weather right now from about Honoré to the interstate on uh, Fruitville Road, inland. Some pretty good thunderstorms just north of Mayaka City. You're hearing it's coming down in buckets, actually, just to the north of Mayaka City. And then down to the south, some pretty good storms now moving on shore between Venice and Inglewood. Those two will encounter more of uh, the terrain that has already seen some pretty good thunderstorm activity around Northport, El Jabin, Port Charlotte, uh, Punta Gorda. You'll get those showers as well. And as I mentioned, there are more out in Gulf waters kind of riding along that same line toward those same areas. But luckily, I think they'll probably be pushed a little bit further to the south by the outflow from those storms to the north. So that's good. We have this deep tropical moisture lifting northward as it does so visible on the water vapor imagery as these kind of contours of turquoise that have lifted north across the region and drier air indicated by the brown to the north of that. The frontal boundary sinking south will bring us good rain chances tomorrow as it encounters that moisture and brings us more rain showers over the course of the next 24. West wind at about 15 makes it bad boating weather today combined with the fact that we'll have good thunderstorm activity. We dry out though for Father's Day, Scott. That sounds great because Father's Day is on Sunday, so you want to make some special plans to celebrate with Dad this weekend. ABC 7's Linda Carson has some ideas in the Suncoast scene. Fathers and Fenders returns to downtown Sarasota for Father's Day. Bring Dad, bring Grandpa out to Five Points Park, enjoy the uh, cars that we have, buy Dad a beer. The cars will be amazing. Normally we have about 120 cars of all different types. We have everything from old antiques to muscle cars to uh, brand new Lamborghinis. Martin Godby from Sarasota Classic Cars will bring his $150,000 Lamborghini and more. I think we'll bring a 66 GTO convertible in black, always a favorite, a Mercedes convertible, I think a little Porsche Speedster, and maybe a 41 Cadillac. Fastback. This is a 1966 Mustang. The color, if you're wondering, is Ember Glow, and the seats are pony seats. One of the many cars you'll see at Fenders and Fathers in Five Points Park, downtown Sarasota, on Sunday from 9 to 2. Cozy now at the Sarasota Players Theater through June 26. Cozy is an amazing little play. It's about a group of um, mental patients who are trying to put on Cozy Fantute, the opera, although they can't speak Italian and they can't sing. It's all about coming together and exceeding your limitations. And the best hour you can spend this summer is in the historic Oslo Theater at the Summer Circus Spectacular. They're celebrating their 10th anniversary with an amazing lineup of stars. You have Sergei and Sasha, like 
Are you kidding? That little girl, she's adorable, incredible, so talented. Then we have the great juggler, and we have the gauchos, who are one of my favorite acts to watch. Roni, the dancer and juggler, is from a Cuban circus family. I started first time, it was like a unicycle. That was my first thing that I learned at the circus. Unicycle, little kid when I was six years old. And then different things like with my dad, I did hand to hand with him. Then I, I decided that I have some skill for the juggling. I was speed and, you know, coordinate, coordination. And of course, there's the queen of the air, Sarasota's Dolly Jacobs. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Some great ideas. Thank you so much, Linda. We'll be right back with more. The agents at SWC would like to show you pictures of all the homes that they've sold quickly for their clients. But they're just too many to show. Contact SWC today and find out for yourself. We just market your home better. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. The home at 19 Walker Court. The agent. The rolling of sleeves. The look over. The look under. The application of dirt under fingernails. Turning over every rock. Turning over every chimney. Checking the nooks, checking the crannies, checking the walls. The floors, the gutters, the doors. Finding the flaw, calling the specialist. Fixing it, cleaning it, prepping it, painting it, listing it, showing it, selling it. The sign of a Remax agent. When you don't know who you are, you can be anyone you want to be. You're coming with me. Ooh, where are we going? To the most wondrous place in the world. Roll up, Table Views Traveling Circus is here! This isn't a fairy story. People don't always live happily ever after. But we will. I'm Hetty Feather, and this is my story. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was gonna be by my side. Hey, I'm really glad that you're taking a few moments to check out this video about the ministry of First Sarasota, downtown Baptist Church. I'm William Hill, lead pastor here at First Sarasota. For the last 15 years, it's been my privilege to share in the life of this faith community, a community that centers itself around faith, friends, and family. Indeed, it is a ministry that's been in existence right here in this wonderful city for over a century. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call US Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits in the bottle of strips. Act now, and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. And in honor of Father's Day, I have Chef's daughter, Caden. Caden, are you ready to taste this cake? You go for it. Now, these, what I'm so excited about, Chef, is that you're using Sugar Cubed, a local Bradenton bakery. We have, go ahead, you can try it. This is a gluten-free pina colada cake and the mango brulee cake. They both look so good. Let us know how it is. You ready, Caden? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's awesome. Yummy. 
We want to take a moment, Chef and I, and give our support to JR's Packing House Cafe and everybody out there that's on the front lines. We love you, JR. We're there for all the businesses. We'll help you rebuild and grow. And to all the dads out there, I hope you have a great Father's Day weekend. But JR, we got your back. You've done so much for us. We're going to be there for you. Chef, thank you for an incredible experience. Thank you for joining us. Hope you come back. I will. And Caden, thank you. You. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Scott. Judy, thank you so much. A health scare for a Grammy winning performer last night in Canada. Singer Meatloaf was in the middle of a performance singing his classic I'd Do Anything for Love when he dropped the microphone and then collapsed on stage. He was taken to the hospital. Condition isn't known yet. The 68 year old had postponed two other concerts in recent days, citing ill health. Somewhere out there is my family. I can't find him on my own. The sequel to 2003's Finding Nemo is getting terrific reviews. That's great to hear. Finding Dory is predicted to dominate the box office with a projected $100 million in its debut weekend. This weekend's other release, Central Intelligence, stars Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. It's also expected to do pretty well. Fine. I'm so happy this, this sequel is finally out. Finding Dory. I mean, we, we have waited. The first one was so terrific. It was good. I'm just wondering was what good. took so long. I, I wonder know. if the, uh, since it has been a long time, I wonder if the quality of the animation will have evolved. I assume that yeah, it will. I would think so. Yeah. The, the, I saw Jungle Book and my gosh, the, the animation there was incredible. Yeah. So I, I'm assuming this is going to be I bet. Out, of the, out of the park. I bet. Yeah. So some more rain still today. Absolutely. And yeah. more tomorrow as well. Uh, the good news, I think, uh, maybe some of those showers might push a little bit further to the south, so it won't be a training situation over right. areas of business. Okay, good. Thank you, John. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful afternoon ahead, and we'll see you again at 5 o'clock. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Anytime you can have the candidate or the elected official speaking directly with the voters, it's a win. Politics gone viral. We'll discuss the increasing need for social media in campaigns and find out how our local candidates are using Facebook and Twitter. I'm Haley Wilgus. We'll have that story plus our roundtable discussion. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. I'm Dale Mast, and we're celebrating 40 years on the west coast of Florida. It's our 40th anniversary, and it's time for a celebration, the Culligan Hydration Celebration. For a limited time, celebrate by taking $250 off any Culligan home system. That's $250 off Culligan water softener systems, drinking water systems, or whole house water filters. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary, and remember... For better water. Pure and simple. Call today and say... Hey, Culligan man!